How good is the fighter emblem? To determine its effectiveness, let's compare it with other emblems, particularly the assassin emblem, as both are used by fighters and skill-dependent heroes. There are heroes that excel with one emblem over the other, but we're focusing on heroes in the middle area of the spectrum. The fighter emblem is focused on sustain, while the assassin emblem is geared towards damage. Despite their different purposes, balance is still a crucial consideration. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Before we continue, smash that like button for the algorithm. Now here's my Bellman build recommendations. Back to the emblem system topic. The key question is whether the fighter emblem is balanced or imbalanced, and if it has sufficient or lacking stats. Should it be nerfed or buffed? It's no secret that the game lacks balance across various aspects, including heroes, items, and emblems. Let's examine their main stats. Fighter emblem offers 10% spell them, while the assassin emblem provides 16 flat pen. In the match between two similar skill-dependent heroes, hero A with 16 flat pen will smoke hero B. The 10% spell bump is not enough to keep up with the damage from 16 flat pen. There's a 56 armor threshold where hero B will be able to outregen the damage it takes from hero A. However, with the presence of anti-heal, the 10% spell bump will have a new mountain to climb, as it sets a new threshold at 216 armor. Spell bump is also much easier to counter than flat pen, it only requires one anti-heal bear. This settles the argument of which is better between 16 flat pen or 10% spell bump. To add insult to injury, we didn't account for basic attacks that do not regen from spell them, but improves by flat pen. The 6 hybrid defense and 12 more adaptive attacks of fighter emblem does balance this weakness though. So even with the presence of an anti-heal fighter emblem would smash assassin emblem. I'm gonna smash you boy! With that said, I believe that both these emblems are pretty balanced. It's only fitting that defensive stats should be slightly stronger than offensive stats. If your hero is in the middle of the spectrum, you can use this guide to help you decide which emblem to go for. Feel free to leave a comment and ask for scenarios where one emblem may be a better choice over the other. But that said, the research involved in providing you with informative and educational content like this demands significant time and effort. I would greatly appreciate your support by clicking the like button and subscribing if you haven't already. With that said, I am your itemization coach, expert, and analyst, wishing you more win streaks, and I'll see you in the next video.